I've been on a big animation kick, more specifically 2D animation from like Akira, uh, Spirited Away, Your Name, you know, movies of that stature. And that's why I was really excited that G Kids acquired the rights to distribution for Lonely Castle in the Mirror. This is a Japanese movie that came out last year, but um, it hasn't been released here. And finally, it came to the U.S. to screen, right? Now, the only thing of it was that it was only available, you know, in theaters for like a two-day event, right? So it's, you know, gone at this point. But I'm hoping that it, this movie it comes to streaming and stuff like that and can be viewed by others as well. So what is this movie actually about? Um, you know, I had no context going into it, apart from just kind of watching the trailer. And it is it is based off of a very popular uh, book called Lonely uh, Castle in the Mirror. And what it's about is this um, teenage girl, uh, Koroko, uh, she finds her mirror having this weird, you know, flashy thing. And she enters into a mirror and finds herself in a castle there with six other teenage kids, right? Um, some are a little bit older, some are a little bit younger, and they are essentially tasked to, you know, find this key before the end of the school year. And if they do, whoever, whoever finds that key will have a wish granted of any kind. Uh, but the thing of it is, you know, they, uh, you know, try to look for it, can't necessarily find it, but um, in hanging out at this castle, they really befriend each other. And where it goes from there is really fantastic, um, you know, both emotionally, both visually, you know, storytelling, all, like, just all of it is is really wonderfully done. Now, it is a kid's movie, like, it is geared towards younger audiences, and so, you know, it's a little bit slower in that way. Um, it's sometimes on the nose with what it's, you know, trying to preach, um, things of that nature. But I found it all the same endearing, you know, even as an adult. Uh, I found it enjoyable. You know, do I think it's perfect? Not necessarily. I think there's a few things here and there that, uh, you know, could have could have been improved, let's say. Um, but that's nitpicky stuff. And, you know, to really discuss it, I have to get into spoilers and I don't necessarily want to do that. Um, I think where it ends up at is, you know, like all of it can be forgiven because of that satisfying ending emotional core and, and where it leads to and stuff like that, right? Um, you, you can find it maybe a little bit melodramatic, but as I said, it is aimed for kids and it tells a wonderful message. So I think um, for those reasons, I think it really works. But um, as I said, I don't know when it will be available to you know, screen again here in the U.S. or whatever. But, you know, if this sounds of interest, I would recommend to you keep an eye out. Um, I'll certainly kind of provide an update if I hear anything. But just wanted to put it on your radar because I think um, certainly if you're someone who has kids, then I think this will be a movie that, you know, you can watch with them. You can enjoy yourself, and I think they would certainly appreciate as well. But if and when you do finally check it out, or perhaps if you're part of that uh, small group that did see it during the, um, you know, the small window, let me know what your thoughts are. I'm very curious um, to hear from 